how's how's Ireland? Is this the first time you've been to um, Ireland? Yeah, it's my first big trip overseas. So I'm still trying to get used to the um, time zones. My first experience with um, jet lag. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was good. We got to, to do some sightseeing a couple of days ago. Um, just look around, take some photos. And then we had our first uh, big day of training yesterday. So it was pretty good. And I mean, you know, I, I can imagine there's um, girls in a similar boat to you sort of experiencing jet lag at the moment. How is everyone sort of faring with that and how is the training session? Um, yeah, I think today should be like the first day everyone's getting into the group of things. Um, starting to feel pretty good. But um, yeah, training yesterday was good. Uh, we all did well. <laughs> <laughs> And what's the weather like um, over there at the moment? Uh, obviously, it's, you know, what they coming at the back and end of their summer, but what's it sort of, what can you compare it to back home? Uh, the first day, full day we got here, uh, it was beautiful weather, like shorts, shirt, um, no clouds in the sky. It was so nice. Then the ne- the past couple of days, it's been pretty cold, a bit of rain, um, which was the expected weather. For Ireland. Um, I was going to say that sounds very classically yeah. Ireland, but um, you're kicking off the the sort of series with them this weekend. Um, what are you guys? What have you guys been doing in preparation for that? Um, you know, given that it's been a good seven years since the Wallaroos have um, have played the Irish. Uh, yeah, so we came into Ireland with good preparation. We uh, had about three weeks camp to prepare to come into here, which was pretty good. Um, we got all our fundamentals down and we're just ready to play them this week. Just kicking things off this week. <laughs> Do you think there's um, any nervousness or does it pose a challenge that you guys haven't versed them in such a long time? And then obviously there's plenty of players like yourself that, you know, wouldn't have ever versed them. Um, Do you think that that you know, creates a bit of a challenge? Um, yeah, I think every game is a bit of a challenge, but I think there's a bit of excitement coming into versing Ireland. Um, we haven't versed in since, yeah, 2017, was it? So yeah, I think there's excitement there and just to see where we're at, where we're at with them as well. And I mean, for yourself, um, you know, you've got seven caps under your belt now, um, in terms of where you're at, um, what, how do you feel like your game is going and you know, your position in the squad, how do you feel um, like that is, you know, at this point in your sort of career with the Wallaroos? Um, Yeah, I'm excited. Um, Still, you know, getting some experience under my belt, but um, I'm just building confidence there and, yeah. Cool. Just going to say, coming into this test season, you know, having made it to the last year, winning that title with the Waratahs, how much more confident of a player are you sort of this time around as compared to last year? Um, yeah, oh, I've gained so much confidence um, this year since last year. It's just amazing. Um, I think experience just makes me play better as well. Um, so, yeah, um, just, yeah, winning that um, Waratahs title and then Coming into my second year of Wallaroos, I'm just more confident this year and I play better confident. It's Ireland's and we sort of look to, I think Trulli was saying it's that Ireland was sort of very much sort of forward dominated type team. They're going to look to impose their will at set peaks and just that, that collision battle. I guess how, as so someone that sort of embraces that side of the game, how much are you just excited for that challenge and just matching with the Northern Hemisphere side? Yeah, um, I love a bit of com- um, physicality, so that'll be fun. Um, want to bring that to the game this weekend but we have a few girls on the team that love some physicality too so um keen to battle up this weekend bring it to them great yeah and just heading over um obviously no, having no piper she was sort of leading that back row particularly in that sort of july series how much is it now that the the rest of the players to step up and just continue to sort of pick up from where you left off with, with her so not around yeah um it's unfortunate losing piper she was um, big asset for our team, but I think we have a lot of depth in our back row and, um, yeah, they'll step up and bring that physicality that Piper bought. 
Yes, it's a pretty sort of unique situation that they're having these sort of five or six test matches in a row. Um, as a player, just is it like how do you sort of control the excitement around just being able to constantly test yourself at this level and whilst having to deal with, you know, unique situations like the eventual trail to South Africa and playing in these sort of hostile environments? Um, I don't think we just take it one week at a time, really. Um, we have a job to do each week. Uh, we do get some downtime each week, like a day, just to have to ourselves, but we're really here for a job and... Yeah. I guess you sort of touched on that build up beforehand, that sort of three or four weeks in Blacktown. What was that key focus out of that New Zealand game about just changing the tide and um, was sort of a focus towards getting better for the World Cup this year? Yeah, so uh, three, three, four weeks preparation there for coming into here. Each week we had a focus to get done. So first week was just um, fundamentals and then we just kept building each week into um, bringing it all together. And yeah, that's what we've done. And we're really prepared this week for Ireland. Just on, last one for me, just on Ireland, I think Trilly is the only player that's still sort of left in that game in 2017. With a sort of, this whole game's around the like 150th anniversary of our rugby. Is there anything sort of been mentioned about the just sort of trying to take the emotion out of it and understanding what's going to mean to the Ireland side as well? Not really. I think we're just real excited to be in Ireland and have the opportunity to burst them here. Um, we are expecting them to have a good crowd, um, and that brings excitement for us as well. Just, um, bring the energy and yeah.